Hello, Gemini, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a reading for mid-January 2023, looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and pulled the Oracle cards and clarified those so that we can jump in. I have my overall energy for the reading, and then I have the decks that I'll be using in the extended. Any information regarding an extended, the extended reading for this reading or a personal reading is in the description box below. All right, Gemini. Um... I, this is a good reading for you guys. It's you guys are in a um, not necessarily transformative time in term. Well, no, it's it's it feels very transformative. I'm not exactly sure in what capacity. In your recent past, you have released your blocks with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Um, here's what I see: is up until now in your life, you've had a tendency of keeping yourself from your own blessings, keeping yourself from your own opportunities. Um, my guess is control, and I'll get to why in a second, but it just feels like you were never able, it never felt like you were quite able to have whatever it is you wanted to have. At the end of the day, maybe you kept experiencing loss or you kept experiencing frustration or whatever the case is. Um, there's this opportunity here, this Ace of Pentacles that aligns with your true path, and the universe is keeping you from it until you are able to release yourself from, from the blocks and from the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. So that should you, you know, get to have this opportunity, you don't sabotage it. And I'll, I can, I'll talk more about that probably in the reading. Um, in your current energy, you have trust in the universe with the Knight of Cups. Um, right now you're receiving signs. You're receiving signs either toward or away from something. Now, how each individual receives signs is, is it's very individualized. And so that's not something I can exactly tell you what they are. This is a general reading as well. But whether it be, you know, angel numbers or like, like billboards or I, I, I don't know, like just something, something's really standing out. The universe is trying to send you something through, through things that you see every day, patterns, hints, things like that. And it's, it's almost like this is about you learning to both trust. Yeah. Cause you do have trust in the universe, but also communicate with the universe, which I like a lot in your immediate future. You have assessed the situation with the hangman. Um, to me, this is talking about surrendering, letting go, allowing. Now I talk, I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to talk about allowing a lot in this reading because the overall energy for this reading that you have is water and magic. And the way that I'm reading these is the magic that you're looking for, the magic of the universe, the, the really cool, amazing things that this universe has in store are available to you as soon as you're allowed to let things flow. Think of water, flow, um, allowing. And I just feel like this is about, it, it's almost like this is a whole reading about you kind of getting out of your own way in a way, but let's get more detailed. Recent past here for Gemini. And we're, we're always in our own way, right? That's the biggest thing. Recent past for Gemini is we think that other people and things can keep us from what we want, but it's not them, it's us. All right, recent past for Gemini clarifying. Release your blocks with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Recent past for Gemini. Oh my goodness. Lots and lots going on, it feels like. You have justice, the world in reverse, and the well. That's funny. The well, is, this is literally a card about learning to allow, um, learning to let things flow, more water energy. You know, the way that I'm seeing this too, because you do have, I mean, you have water and then you have this well card here. It feels like um, this has a lot to do with your emotional world too. How you emotionally connect with yourself, with others. Um, yourself being the universe in motion it makes sense because this does seem it's about you know coming coming back to yourself aligning with the universe learning to communicate with the universe you have this justice in the world in reverse um you haven't received what you deserve there's karma that's been at play that is currently at play i know this is your recent past but there's karma that's currently at play because things have been unbalanced in your world in some way, shape, or form, um, mainly regarding some sort of cycle. 
And I feel like that cycle is this ultimate opportunity here. It could be a job related. It could be relationship, you know, related where it just feels like you can't seem to find exactly what's the right fit for you. Or if you have found what's the right fit for you, you're having a hard time either growing it, building on it, or like feeling the way you once did about it. I'm not exactly sure. It, again, this is a general reading, but the way that I'm seeing this is in your recent past, even though things weren't working out for you yet, I mean, not that they weren't, they were working against you, not nothing like that, but even though you weren't able to have, there's some opportunity here, this Ace of Pentacles, it's something that's meant for you. Even though you haven't received that yet, every situation that you've been involved in, in your past, has prepared you with lessons and growth and perspective shifts to get you to being able to be the person who can align with this opportunity. And so that's what I feel your recent past, you know, maybe was frustrating. And when I say recent past, you know, that could be five years to the, you know, last month. It just kind of depends on the situation. But how I'm seeing this is there is a lack of balance in your life. Um, a lack of, of, of justice. I mean, yeah, a, a lack of justice. All right, current energy for Gemini. Or I'm sorry, this is recent past for Gemini. I'm going to reshuffle. This is recent past for Gemini. Recent past. Perfect. All right, recent past for Gemini. Clarifying, release your blocks with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, okay. So things aren't, they're not moving in the direction that you were hoping. They haven't been. But the reason why is to turn you inward. You have the Eight of Wands in reverse with this Hermit card. And then there's the Judgment card. This is a lot of major arcanas in this reading. Um, this really is about getting you to not put so much emphasis in your external environment. Meaning, if you're searching for meaning or happiness through wealth or success or how you present yourself to the world, whatever the case is, None of that is ever going to make you happy. And I feel like you're starting to realize that. And your recent past was a big shift in your perspective around that. Because this, with the hermit card, it's almost like everything that happened was to turn you inward. And to make you realize that fulfillment, we hear it all the time, it comes from within. You are who you're looking for. You know, it's not that next thing, that next best thing that you're hoping for. Um, and so if you're feeling discouraged right now, because yeah, you are, there's a seven of wands in reverse. If you're feeling discouraged or you're feeling um, like down on yourself, don't be so hard on yourself. There's a need to give yourself a lot of grace here because you're a human being and you're learning and just because you don't have it all figured out, and this is something I have to tell myself every day, just because you don't have it figured out doesn't mean you're not on track, right? And to be quite honest, you're never going to have it all figured out. That's the whole point, right? We're, we're healing, we're learning, we're growing until we're not anymore. All right, recent past for Gemini, which is never so. <laughs> recent past for Gemini, the four of pentacles in reverse of the five of cups. So there was, there was a loss of some sort of of foundation, some sort of stability. Um, I feel like it's materially. Because you have pinnacles. You have the ace of pinnacles in reverse with the four of pinnacles in reverse. So to me, it feels like it could be loss of a job, loss of income, loss of just finances in general, loss of a home maybe, or even like like a community, like your, your stability that surrounded you. Um, here's the thing. And this is the the biggest lesson that I, I personally try to bring through in all of my readings because I think it's so vitally important, is that what is meant for you will never pass you. And so that's why you have this Ace of Pentacles in reverse here, is it saying, listen, there is something out here in this world that is meant for you and only you, your path in alignment with your authentic self. But because our thoughts and our belief systems have a tendency of 
sabotaging things for us because 95% of our movement choices and decisions comes from our subconscious being our learned behavior, our habits that we've learned from our past. If you don't get your subconscious in alignment with success and believing in yourself and loving yourself and being able to be emotionally authentic, then bringing that energy you know, the, the wrong unaligned kind of belief system into whatever it is that is alignment with your path will create the potential for you to sabotage it. So for instance, if you are searching for a relationship and you search through, say, search for your value through relationships, I'm not saying that's the case. This is just an example of the energy. If you search for your value through relationships and you're, you're in a, you, you find a relationship, you start a relationship, Usually you'll find yourself at around the three, four to six month mark where you realize that you're no longer happy in that relationship. And it's because that relationship isn't validating you the way that it once did. And so then you start to want to search for something else. And that cycle is never ending because the thing is relationships are not supposed to validate you. They're supposed to complement who you are. And so I say all of this to say that what is supposed to align with you, what is supposed to be this ace of pentacles right here, you have release your blocks and your blocks are the ideas of what you're searching for in your external world. And so that is why what has happened and the losses and the pain and the suffering that you have endured, it's all trying to turn you in, inward, (laughs) not turn you in. Um, It's all trying to make you look within and start to really see that the only person that can make you feel happy and fulfilled in this entire universe is you. There's not anyone or anything out there that can. Um, Don't think that you're not going to get that what you want isn't possible because it absolutely is. But here's the thing is you have to learn to let it flow, let it go and let it flow, which I feel like we're going to talk about in your current energy, which is you have trust the universe. Look at Gemini's current energy, clarifying trust the universe with the Knight of Cups. Okay, one more shuffle. Gemini's current energy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. First of all, you're popping up as the King of Swords in reverse here, whether you're male or female. Then you have the Hangman in reverse, same Hangman as we have right here, and that Well card that we had come out is in reverse here too so what this means is you're not allowing you're not letting go like literally this is not letting go not surrendering and not allowing things to flow like that's literally it's funny because I felt that energy before I pulled cards but the thing that I feel like you're missing is you feel on some level that if you don't fight claw your way through life if you don't fight for what it is that you want that you're not going to receive it like i almost feel like like there's a level of you that believes that like it's that like almost that grind mentality or the idea that you have to suffer for what it is that you deserve um that's our society speaking right that's that's what we've been taught since we were kids so it makes perfect sense that you would believe that but that's why you have trust the universe with the knight of cups because the thing that really needs to happen is learning to put your faith in the process and understand that just because it's not happening now and ultimately just because it's not happening like you thought it would or you thought it should doesn't mean it's not happening for you it means that it it just means that it's not happening the way that you thought it would um the biggest thing to take away from this is that your life is being Like I think of like this, this river and it's like, there's only one way through this river, right? Because the the river's flowing one way and it's almost like you're there, like, okay, here's a river (laughs) and what you want is at the end of this river and all you have to do is follow this river. But you, you know, you're looking, you're on a boat, you're going down this river and you're looking out the side and you're seeing some things that could potentially make you happy. And you're trying to crawl and climb and swim yourself upstream to get to the things that first and foremost are harder to get to. And second of all, aren't even what you ultimately want because what you ultimately want is at the end of this river. And all you have to do is let go flow and let it, you know, let it happen, let it come to you, you know, attract, not chase. And so I really liked that analogy. 
<laughs> so I just feel and, and more water, right? Like that's this, I, there's a lot of water, a lot of flow, a lot of just like, um, I don't know, like, like flowy energy. That's the best way I can say it. And no other words are coming to me, but in your current energy, that's what you're kind of uh, running into here because you, you are, you're stuck right now. You don't, I feel like you don't know where to go next. Maybe you've exp you experienced this loss in your recent past and you're like, I don't know, because every time I try to invest in something, it turns out the same way or it turns out similar and it always ends up in a loss. And I'm just never, I never end up exactly where I want to be. And the thing is, it's because that you're, you're investing in your life with the wrong intentions. Not that you have bad intentions or poor intentions, but instead of saying, I want to find my happiness within and anything else in this world that comes into my life is going to complement me. But I don't have to be attached to it. I don't have to be the attached to the outcome because I know that I'm okay on my own or I'm okay not even on your own. That's not even necessarily what I mean. Like just you've got you in a way. And I feel like right now you feel like you don't got you. <laughs> like it's it's this me against the world mentality. Like everything that you you want in this life has to be a fight. All right, current energy for Gemini, but it doesn't. It's it's like it could be so easy if you could just learn how to trust. And trust me, I that, that's something that I've I've struggled with my entire spiritual journey is learning to to trust in the possibilities and understand that just the things that I once thought I wanted. And it's so funny looking back now, the things I once thought I wanted and being like, what was I thinking? Like that hadn't, th those things did not align with who I was. They did not align with my intentions and what I want to do with this world. But oh, sorry, what I want to do when I'm in this world. But they did once provide me with a level of comfort to say, this is familiar and this is what I know and this is what everybody else is doing. You know, it, I used to think I wanted success. I used to think I wanted to be in a relationship with a man who, I, it's it's laughable thinking about now. Um, and, and I look back at that time in my life and I mean, I was desperate for these things. Like I spent day in and day out hoping, praying, manifesting, if you will, for these specific things. And then <clears throat> once I kind of realized that that future wasn't meant for me, I had a little bit of a mental breakdown, but it's whatever. Um, and I, I had to completely reshift my idea of what was going to make me happy. What was it that I wanted in this life that was actually going to make me happy when I realized what was the nothing was going to make me happy. Nothing that I was wired to chase and want because of society was ever going to make me happy. And so I had to kind of, you know, sit down and have that hard talk with myself where I was like, okay, so that means the only thing that I've got in this whole world is me. And it sounds, it's not that you don't have other people and you don't have other support. That's not what I'm saying. But you can't rely on anything or anybody to save you. You have to be able to save yourself first. And I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting so specific on that, but it just feels like, it, yes, it has to do with, with trying to chase and find what it is that you, you know, are wanting. But on the flip side, it also just feels like this level of like, not even really knowing what you want. And I get that. I get that so much. Because So you have this Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Things in your life are at a pause right now. So that positive changes can happen. So if you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like you're, you're kind of trapped in um, maybe mundane or same old same or, you know, feeling like you're right back to where you once were, know that this is all happening so that better things can happen can start to take place in your life. And, and a lot of healing is needed as well. Current energy for Gemini, always though, right? Queen of Cups with the star in reverse. Okay. I just said a lot of healing is needed as well. And I get this card that says, it's like, I don't want to say refusal to, hear, to heal because it's not refusal. It's, It's almost like you don't think it's necessary. And this isn't for every Gemini, but there's a Gemini out there that's like, I just need to keep putting one foot in front of the other. I don't need to look back. That past is done. It's over with. I need to just move forward and, and not think about it ever again. And yes, to a certain extent, you are correct. The past is over. It's done with and you need to leave it there. But 
that doesn't mean it's been processed yet. And the, the, the concept of healing is processing what's happened and trying to understand it from a different perspective so that you can release it. Because if you if you just try to try to shut it out, put it in a little box, you know, put it in the corner and walk away, well, then all you're doing is, you know, that box, it's almost like, like I think of it like it's going to grow and it's going to grow, it's going to grow. And eventually that lid on that box isn't going to be able to hold it in anymore and it's going to pop off and those emotions are going to come out in ways that you don't want them to. <laughs> you know, that's the whole concept. That's why we have to process our, our emotions so that they don't control us. Um, and so what I'm feeling here, cause you do, you have the queen of cups in reverse, which, and then the knight of cups in reverse, this is literally emotions running your life and whether or not you could, you could sit there being like, well, I'm not even that much of an emotional person. Like I don't cry or I don't do this and I go that. Okay. That's, that's probably part of the problem is sure. You don't, you don't, you don't cry. You don't have that release, but maybe you have times where you have these extreme anger you know, spurts, or you have these times when you react, you're so reactive to situations and you don't really know why. Um, that's more what I'm talking about. It's not like you're so overly emotional that you don't have control over your life. No, it's that your emotions are coming out in ways that are actually having you sabotage what it is that you're trying to build. So this is when we kind of get into the concept of really learning to take responsibility for where your life is right now, right? You know, the, one of the hardest, hardest, hardest concepts of the law of attraction to um, internalize and, and really, really come to terms with is the idea that every single thing in your life that you are going through today is a result of your past thinking. Your past, your thoughts become your beliefs, become your actions, become your realities. What you think about, what you, what you, put out into this world, that is what you've created in, in that that's where your current circumstances come from. Now, I feel like that's a very, very triggering concept for a lot of people because a lot of people have experienced really awful, dramatic, terrible things in their life. And, and sitting there saying, it's all your fault doesn't help anyone, right? That's why I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm saying what happened to you happened because you were wired a certain way to believe certain things about your world, your life, you. And that then, you know, materialized into your into your environment. So it's not your fault that you've experienced the things you have. It is, however, your responsibility to heal from them. Because if you don't, then you're going to find yourself stuck in the cycles that you've been stuck in until this point. And this is a cycle I can tell you guys are so over. You're so over feeling this way. And I'm not saying you haven't grown or changed or gotten better or anything like that. I absolutely believe you have you wouldn't be watching this reading still 22 minutes in of me telling you how to heal yourself if you hadn't. And so what I'm saying is that this is about taking it a step further and really diving within you and figuring out, okay, how do I get in my own way and not allow myself to just flow down that river? How do I just flow down the river? Like that's what I ultimately feel you need to, you need to figure out for yourself. Okay. Because everything in this world is always happening to and for you. If you set the intention of, okay, universe, take me to what's meant for, for me. And you can just, you know, let go and allow the universe to take you there. That would be so easy, right? But the thing is, is that our ego, that part of us that, that feels like it needs to fight and protect ourselves, it gets in the way and it makes us feel like we're in danger because things aren't working out the way that we want. Or, you know, the unknown is so scary because we don't have control over it. And that's the whole river the river isn't here to hurt you it's here to take you to where you're going to be but sometimes it's going to be a little bumpy all right immediate future for gemini what because you have assessed the situation the hangman so what is the outcome of this or what is the i don't know next moves next potential moves the fool mm -hmm. okay you have the fool the knight of pentacles and the five of swords with the ace of wands on the bottom so new beginning which is amazing this literally means you against the world mentality. This is that defensive, I need to protect myself, claw myself through life kind of um, kind of mentality. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles here, meaning that this new beginning is absolutely possible for you. This, this Ace of Pentacles that you're wanting is absolutely possible, but it's going to be a slow and steady progression to get there. Now, there's a little bit of a warning coming through in these messages where it just feels like there's this need to make sure that you're not paying attention to only passion, to only, dare I say it, to lust. Um, 
if, if this is a relationship reading or that you're not just paying attention to wealth um, and that you're, you're kind of focusing more on what you want to feel about, you know, about the situation as a whole, you know, it's interesting. And I don't know why I'm telling this story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. When I met my current significant other, who is absolutely the hands down love of my life, he is the most amazing man I've ever met in my life. Anyway, um, I was really intrigued about how I felt when we first started dating because I didn't get butterflies. I didn't feel this like, like my heart didn't pound. I didn't get like, I didn't get like that, that, that feeling in your chest, that anxious feeling. And for a while I was like, what is that? Like, what is that about? Like, I know that I like this guy. I know that we're having so much fun together. We talk about things that I've never been able to talk with about with any human being ever. And I realized it's because there was this absence of anxious attachment. And it wasn't fueled by excitement. It was calm. It was peaceful. It was secure. It was genuine. And it, it felt unlike anything in, in any relationship I've ever experienced. Now, that's not me saying that the other, you know, the, the pitter patters and the, the butterflies, it's not like that's a bad thing. But I just realized for myself, having struggled with anxious attachment my whole life, that the biggest thing that I realized from my relationship was that I was ultimately looking for someone to make me, um, to reflect back at me the love that I had for myself, essentially, was what, what I'm getting at. And and I had to veer away from the idea of focusing only on the, like the, I don't know, because there's still passion. I'm not saying there's not passion. It's just like, like not focusing just on that, like, like physical drive. And I feel like I needed to say that because there's, it, you know, it's interesting because I've said this to him a million times. I've said, if I met you even a month earlier than I did, this wouldn't have worked out. And the reason being, I was looking for something very different in my life. I was looking for something a little bit more materialistic. Um, You know, that checkbox that I thought I've always wanted in a guy since the time I was born. I didn't know what I wanted until it showed up on my doorstep. And we met in such a serendipitous way. I had no hand in it whatsoever. In fact, I didn't even want to meet him. My mom set us up. Uh, Well, his mom actually set us up. I say all of this to say, that the second that I was able to let go of the idea of what I thought I wanted, because that happened like a week earlier, I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done trying because every every time I tried to date someone, it just ended the same way. Um, and I, I just said, whatever, if I would rather be alone than continue to repeat the cycle. And I literally met him a week later um, in a very serendipitous way. So and that was it was like as soon as I was able to allow and let go and let things flow, then what I wanted literally showed up at my doorstep. And so I I know I'm not saying that my path isn't the same as everyone's, but I will say based on my personal experience that letting go and letting things flow and allowing the universe to do its thing will always lead you to exactly what you're looking for. Immediate future for Gemini. And now I do tarot at his kitchen table. Well, I guess technically mine. (laughs) We do live together. All right. King of Pentacles with the Five of Wands in reverse. I like this because this to me is you starting to ground yourself in reality isn't the right thing to say because your reality is your reality. So I'm not trying to, to say that your reality is wrong, but it's almost like trying to ground yourself into the reality of the situation, the reality of your past, the reality of of what you've played in in this. Because here's the five of wands in reverse where it says, you know, you are letting go of this conflicting energy. You're no longer allowing yourself to, this is your immediate future. It's like you're no longer allowing yourself to put out that energy of like, like materialism. Like that's what keeps coming up for me is like this materialistic view on the world and believing that that anything external is going to make you happy when that's just not the case. Remember, the magic is in the flow. That's and that's that's absolutely. I mean, that's a personal belief of mine that I will I will shout from the rooftops until the day I die. All right, immediate future here for Gemini. The Queen of Swords with the Six of Swords in reverse. So it's almost like. Because this Queen of Swords to me is like the truth, like speaking the truth. Um, it's like you're you're stuck on what you once thought the world was like, and I get that. I mean, when I first started my spiritual journey, I was a I was a go getter financial advisor working ridiculous hours every week and waking up at four a.m. so that I could go to the gym every morning. Um, and now I go for for walks and drink tea, and I'm happier than ever. But it's just funny. 
because it took me a really long time when I got on my spiritual journey, when I got on this path, because look at me now, I'm a tarot reader for a living, right? Um, to let go of old world views that I had. And so your immediate future is kind of that struggle with that. It's, it's like, you know, changing your belief system, it doesn't happen overnight. That's why most New Year's resolutions fail is because you can't just change your subconscious like that. Your subconscious is built on habits and the habits that you've made in the past have turned into the, ha- the person you are today. And that's why it's a really cool concept when you start to understand it because you can say, okay, if those habits have gotten me here, then that means all I have to do is change my habits to get me to where I want to go. Anyway, your immediate future looks good. It looks like this this process of starting to ground yourself because you have assessed the situation with the hangman. It's like, yeah, so it's like starting to see the truth of the situation so that you can um, heal, heal it, let it go, you know, release it, take a step forward, you know, create your life. I don't know why, but I feel like my Gemini readings are always so long always very talkative in them, which makes sense for a Gemini air sign reading. Um, I'm going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to clarify each and every message. We're going to go in a lot more depth. And then I have an advice card to pull at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching this reading. This is, this channel is my livelihood. So it means the absolute world to me that I have your support. I hope this reading resonated. And if it did, I hope to see you in future readings. Bye Gemini.